Hey everybody, just wanted to offer a little voluntary individual opinion about Funko Brands, Funko's cereal. But just the cereal though, I mean, because having all the pictures and the figures in them is good and all, but the cereal is really good. I mean, various colors they're in, but I mean, hey, Funko Company, you know what you could do with the cereal? Actually put it in the grocery stores and in the cereal aisles of the Walmarts, the Targets, and everywhere. All the actual cereal aisles. And so just making it a specialty food item available only in certain places. You can make it available with or without the included toy. And actually put more of the cereal in the box. Like, you know, make it a family size box of Funkos. The Funkos. Because... That berry flavor is totally awesome, and it's a multi-grain cereal, so it's definitely a good part of a balanced breakfast. So anyway, hey Funko, let's get the act together. Let's put your cereal in the in all the cereal aisles, okay? And you can just put various pictures on the front, like, or even just so, just even just Social Time Freddy, just on the front cover, and join the cereal, and just put Funkos. On the top part. Fungos! Fungos! Because it's a really good cereal! Let's have cereal in the cereal aisles. Okay? I had other thoughts that were escaping me. But, oh! Not only like that, but you could also just in the bowl, you could put various, you could make it like uh, sections of the individual colors, just like, you know, rainbow from red to purple. From red to violet. And you can put all, uh, all of them in each box. Just put a random color in each of them. So like, you know, in one neutral type of Sunko's box could be red. Another one could be yellow. Another one could be orange. Another one could be blue. Another one could be purple. And let's have fun with it. Hey, everybody. Check it out. Let's just let you know that it is me. Walking. Baby. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is Christine Chandler coming to you live from home once again. Good morning. It's morning. 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 And with my hair done in the bun. Oh, anyway, I have something of importance to talk about right now. Uh, I wish to apologize sincerely for the lack of progress. And, uh, but I am not at liberty to just to explain what happened over the last few months. But it's all being handled and that I'm back! I'm back! And I'm gonna do an exclusive Patreon only five page plus comic about uh, Magic Chan and Grizel and I. So it'll only be available to donators, so let's get those pledges back high. And I'm gonna and I'm ordering the books right now. I'm gonna have them rushed over here, and I'll have them all shipped out as soon as, as soon as I get them. So thank you all. Please put your pledges back up high, and I'll be able to do a whole lot more. I'm really sorry for all the lack of content and everything, and the delays. Just, but we're all taking care of that. And I'm back. I have people. We're doing it. Yay! Thank you. Have a good day. And just so everyone knows, I'm Christine Weston Chandler Sideshoe, and I am the creator of Sideshoe and Rose Shoe, the nation of Quickville. So let's do this bad fan fiction. Okay. And Spike coming over to her. What do you want, Twilight? Spike said, the Twilight said, I need you to get me the Book of Magic. Okay, Spike said, I will get it for you. And he went over to the bookshelf to get the book for Twilight Sparkle. It was a dusty book, 
and Spike almost sneezed, but he didn't. He gave it the book to Twilight, and she said, Thank you, Spike. Go away now. <laughs> Spike said, Okay, I will go away. And he slid it away like a dragon. <laughs> Twill light out. Good. Open the book to chapter ah. five. Oh. It is book. But that is a nice time of 47.6 seconds. Mm, not a problem. All right, number three, come on up. So, so point out where you were on there. There you go. Ah, oh, yes, I see the book. Tell us your name. I am D, and New York is red. <laughs> Twilight. Uh, sections of the individual colors, just like, you know, rainbow from red to purple, from red to violet. And you put all, uh, all of them in each box, just put a random color in each of them. So, like, you know, in one neutral type of song calls box could be red, another one could be yellow, another one could be orange, another one could be blue, another one could be purple. And let's have fun with it. This cereal is really good, so Funko. Let's get in on that. So then, I don't have to pay eight bucks for this awesome cereal every time. I pay like four or five bucks for bigger bots of just the cereal because it really is good. And that's two thumbs up. Okay, here's one. And here's another because my other thumb's holding the camera. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Funko Company. We have been informed this is the last question. We better pick a good one. Okay. Yeah, she's been trying hard to. Ah, finally. <laughs> oh, Mike, you're going to make a dream of mine come true because I've enjoyed every scene where Sonic got to insult Eggman. And I've like got one that I came up with recently. And I just want Eggman reaction, by the way. Oh, I'm a Sonic Chew. So in case you don't know, I'm creator of the original yellow, but I transformed to this one. And I'm encountering Eggman, and Bowser can laugh if he wants to, if he likes it. So, Eggman, let's talk for a moment. You like wordplay? Alright. <laughs> so, I got a good reason to you. go back to calling yourself Robotnik. Because don't work backwards. You say Eggman, I say. Now I'm gay. Split it up a little bit further, it sounds like, nah, I'm gay. <laughs> and at least, Kento Boar sounds more sophisticated than that. So what do you have to say for you now? See yourself now. Now I'm gay. Well, I believe William Shakespeare said it best when he said, What's in the name? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>